KU put out a video of him like addressing the team for the first time and the combination of how dreadfully boring he is with Kansas having a mic that is like cutting out the whole time and there are like some technical issues with it it just makes it the lamest promo video that I've ever seen like this is how we introduce our guy this is our dude it's so bad now, let me take you back. Before I play you Leipold's, I just want to give you some context here. Chris Kleiman is not, like, overly rah-rah guy. I, I, you know, he's yeah, in between, like, a middle of the road, but pretty even-keeled. Like, I've always said that. That amazes me. Wins and losses. He's a pretty even-keeled guy. But this is what Chris Kleiman sounded like when K-State put out the video of him addressing the team for the first time. Okay? So, y- you need this to frame what it is that you're about to hear from Lance Leipold. This is Chris Kleiman being introduced to the team. What it's about is doing it for the guy next to you. Laying it on the line. Laying it on the line for the guy next to you. Only thing you have is tomorrow. That's all you got. You bust your ass and you win tomorrow. Academically, socially, athletically. If you do that, guys, and we all do that together, ain't anybody stopping our ass. There ain't anybody stopping our ass. All right, now that is how you introduce yourself to a team, okay? Not the biggest rah rah guy in the world, but that's how you handle that situation. Now, for reference, here is, with technical issues included, lackluster Lance Leipel. Everything I've heard about you, your character, your work ethic, and where this program is heading could not get me more excited. I'm excited to watch you go tomorrow. Because tomorrow, I truly get my first impression of what this football team, what our football team, is going to be about. Man. Oh, that's it. Well, there's more. Do I want to run through a brick wall at this point? Here's more. You want to know what's going to happen staff-wise in it? My next, my next thing I'm going to talk with our staff. Look, Chennai is in Delhi. I'm going to change the match in the evening. I'm going to change the match in the evening. What is happening? What is happening? Sir, we're trying to have a show here. Oh, my God. That was one of those ESPN pop-up ads. What? 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 There's going to be a lot of meetings. I look forward <laughs> to sitting down individually with each and every one of you and have a chance to talk more about where, where this thing is going to head. Learn about what your, you know, your background, what your story's been. <laughs> Just goodness. <laughs> railroaded the whole thing. I'm not even laughing about Leipold at this point. I'm just laughing about the fact that there's some man just screaming in the middle of that from an ESPN ad. Thank you, ESPN. Here is just this is the lead. I should have just gone from climbing straight to this without a dumb ESPN pop up. He's talking to them about meetings. Like th- this is your first meeting to the team, and instead of like laying it on the line, he's talking with a mic cutting out about meetings. You want to know what's going to happen staff wise in it? My next, my next thing I'm going to go talk with our staff. There's going to be a lot of meetings. I look forward to sitting down individually with each and every one of you and have a chance to talk more about where where this thing is going to head learn about what your you know your background what your story's been i mean like think about today with how much zoom is being used and everyone's sick of the zoom meetings and it's just like well now we figured out we can have meetings even more often because you can just do it over a computer and these guys they're having class over zoom it's just meeting after meeting and you're like all right we finally got rid of this bumbling idiot who is a creep As my head coach, I don't have to deal with that anymore. I don't have the dumb athletic director who is shooting ketchup all the time anymore. Now I've got my coach, baby. And all the national media says that this guy is awesome. They love this hire. They're giving us so much credit for this. They think we crushed it out of the park. All right, coach, I'm ready to go, man. Let's go. Let me run through that brick wall for you. I'll slam my helmet into concrete for you. You want to know what's going to happen staff-wise in that? My next, my next thing I'm going to go talk with our staff. There's going to be a lot of meetings. I look forward to sitting down individually with each and every one of you. It's going to be a lot of meetings. That's your message to me? 
<laughs> we just got rid oh, of the old God. creep, and your message to me is there's going to be a lot of meetings. What? Come again? Dude, brutal. Brutal. There's even uh, one last clip here. Here's here's the finishing kick. The finishing kick to Lance Leipold addressing the team for the first time. Very fortunate over 30 years of coaching to be around some excellent programs, some excellent leaders, some excellent blueprints on how to win football games. It's not easy. It's not going to happen like that. But we will win here. I promise you. I promise you. All I ask is for your best. Like, really? That's what I get out of you? That's what I get out All I ask is your best. Let's, let's again, let's compare the end of Chris Kleiman here. You bust your ass and you win tomorrow. Academically, socially, athletically. If you do that, guys, and we all do that together, ain't anybody stopping our ass. There ain't anybody stopping our ass. Man, now that's what I'm talking about, but instead I get this. Well, we will win here. I promise you. I promise you. All I ask is for your best. We're going to have lots of meetings, and all I ask is for your best. That, that noise you heard at the end, it's a player falling asleep and his head hitting the locker. Uh, kind of woke up the entire team probably at the same time. Actually, I think it was just Les Miles farting again is what that was. That's what happened there at the end. But, like, could somebody just – can before that happened, I mean, first of all, can we check the mic and make sure that the mic is working, number one. Number two, can we get a better mic because the sound quality just isn't very good and it's outside and, like, in the wind. And then number three, can somebody just slip, slip a DVD or – I mean, I've, this is on YouTube. Just go – Send a YouTube link of the Any Given Sunday speech to Leipold to just glean a little bit of something before he talks to the team for the first time and we put it all out on social media. Like, just if, if he would have at least heard this. I'll tell you this. In any fight, it's the guy who's willing to die who's going to win that itch. And I know if I'm going to have any life anymore, it's because I'm still willing to fight and die for that itch. Because that's what living is. The six inches in front of your face. Now I can't make you do it. You gotta look at the guy next to you. Look into his eyes. We need some of that, Lance. Just a little bit of that. I don't need all that. You don't have to go all the way. Chris Kleiman's not full send. That's not to- climate's not total Pacino, but he, he channels a little bit of that. You bust your ass and you win tomorrow, academically, socially, athletically. If you do that, guys, and we all do that together, ain't anybody stopping our ass. Amen. There ain't anybody stopping our ass. Amen. Terrible, terrible. Now, Kansas is going the total opposite. You always go the opposite of what you had. Offense guy, you go defense. They had the stooge of Les Miles. They go total boring guy. National media, regional media, maybe you're right to slobber all over the guy, but boy, I tell you what, he can't, he's not doing promo videos. He's not cutting promos for you. Uh, That that guy, Mitch, what what Leipold needs is, um, uh, what is the handler of Brock Lesnar? What's that guy's name? Paul Heyman. He needs a Paul Heyman. Sure does. He needs a Paul Heyman. To just come in there and deliver the speeches. Let him handle the board. He can handle the meetings, Lance. You get all your meetings. But just get a Paul Heyman to come out there and do cut some promos for social media and just to, to rile up the guys, rile up the team. Don't you think? I, I think I just stumbled onto something brilliant there. If Kansas wants to take that marketing idea from so wait me. Wait a second. Are, are you comparing Lance Leipold to Brock Lesnar? Yeah, I mean, I guess that's basically what I did. Yes, correct. I mean, I'm sorry, Lance, but even Brock Lesnar's not a good talker. But damn it, he delivers. I'm not talking just in the ring, just as a fighter and as an athlete. That guy's a freak. Lance Leipold, I I just kind of get the opposite feeling that he's kind of less of a freak when it comes to coaching in college football. I mean, he probably broke that team down afterwards and said, team on three, 
which is the most boring breakdown you could possibly <laughs> throw out there that, that as a coach. Is, that is, it would be team on three or like family on three is the other really easy one to just throw out there right there. But I, I love that. Okay, boys, we're going to have lots of meetings. I just need your best, please. Team on three.